Farrell. Bridge is yours, Pathfinder. Rider. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Yes? I'll see you later, John. Stay strong and clear.
I'm picking up something. Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. Getting a scan. Pathfinders will make sure. The Moshai said you remember when the Ket arrived. My father's oldest friend was chosen to be Volt's ambassador to the Ket. The day he left, they embraced as brothers. All the cat sent back was his badge and a hollow recording I wasn't allowed to watch. I was too young to understand why everyone was scared, why my father mourned for months. Why kill an ambassador and risk retaliation? They told us it was retaliation for Havaral's attack on their envoy. Havaral received the same story, but in that one, we were the aggressors. We were so busy blaming each other. We were divided when the Ket launched their assault. 
They'll try the same with you. Be ready. I'll get moving. transition to Aya. The Angara have been gracious. Everything's going well. Good. Keep me updated. Tan out. I've never lied to a director before. Pathfinder, it's a pleasure. I'm Ambassador Riala, Chief Diplomat for the Initiative on Aya. I was removed from Cryo specifically for this. Quite the wake-up call. I assume you're trained for first contact diplomacy. I'm a social anthropologist with a linguistics background. Close enough for Director Tan. I hear you're to thank for our new ties with Aya. This is our best shot at an alliance. Now we just need to keep our people from wrecking it, no matter how hard they try. If something's wrong, I need to know. Maybe you can help me fix it. A Salarian botanist named Sorvis Len is here, learning how to improve our crops. He sent an urgent calm, saying a member of the Angaran resistance had threatened him. What happened? I'm not sure. Sorvis is an excellent scientist, but not the best communicator. I'm concerned this could escalate if someone doesn't look into it, but I don't have the staff to spare. I can go settle things. I'm a friendly face for both sides. That would be helpful. With any luck, we can prevent this from getting worse. Aside from Sorvis Len, is everything okay? Need anything else? Actually, yes. Director Tan gave me a project. He wants more Aya natives to live on the Nexus. He thinks it will deepen our partnership. A few Angara expressed interest, but... None of them will agree to live on the Nexus without speaking to you first. Why me? After what you've accomplished? I didn't want to bother you, but... You asked. I'll point you towards the candidates. If you could convince them to transfer, I'd be grateful. What's our end goal for Aya? A strong alliance is all we can ask for. It's what we're working toward. Helios is the Angara's home. They dictate the terms of this partnership, not us. We need them as allies, and they could benefit from us. But we have to tread lightly. Show them we're not invaders. Historically, when two civilizations meet, one consumes or destroys the other. We need to break that cycle. How many of our people have they lit into the city? A strictly limited number, and only certain professions. Scientists, engineers, and scholars. The Angara have agreed to allow some of our people to work in Aya's research facilities. That's huge. It's more than I expected. Tan wants me to push for social visits, but I'm holding my ground. We need to move at their pace. They've been extraordinarily gracious, all things considered. I'll take whatever they're willing to give. How did the Jardan factor into the new alliance? Between you and I, we all stumbled onto something much bigger than us. We'll have to be even more careful. If these Jardan ever show up, we need a plan. A plan? What happens when they find someone new on their turf? 
They were formidable enough to create an entire civilized species. Not someone I want as an enemy. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. The ambassador's messages are overflowing again. No rest for the weary. The ambassador's messages are overflowing again. Angar and antiseptic. Oh, Samar. That's the name, isn't it? Something like that. Can't wait to test its applications. Thank you very much, Petra. Anything for the woman who keeps us healthy. I really wonder what would have happened if we hadn't found Aya. The people here have been so generous, and honestly, they didn't need to be. Seems like sharing's a big thing in Angaran culture. Makes you wonder how they welcomed the first cat, doesn't it? It probably backfired horribly. But here they are, helping out more aliens. Now it's up to us not to betray that trust, I suppose. Invest in your personal protection. Ryder. Welcome. One of Ambassador Riala's candidates to live on the Nexus. I am. Glad you finally showed up. Let's get down to it. I've lived my whole life wanting to meet aliens who didn't want me dead. But my family's here. How can I stay in touch with them from the Nexus? You'll have ways to send them text messages and comm transmissions. 
I want contact with the people I love. You offer machines. But are not good enough, Pathfinder. I love seeing our Milky Way peeps mingling with the Angara. It's early in our interspecies relationship, but I hope we can build on the momentum. We have an amazing opportunity. And a great responsibility. Whoa, that's your inspiring voice. You really can't turn off diplomat mode once it's on, can you? <laughs> Just riding you, Ryder. Keep up the good work. Pathfinder, Ambassador Riala didn't think you'd have time for me. She said you needed to talk before agreeing to live on the Nexus. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm an anthropologist, but I've only ever studied my own people. I've heard the Nexus is home to multiple species and cultures. It would be fascinating and possibly dangerous. Bacteria, viruses, other contaminants. My family worries about me. Are you sure I'll be safe? We'll take every precaution, but entering an alien environment is always a risk. I appreciate your honesty, and so will my family. I'll convince them to let me go. Thank you. That should have come to me. Axel, I'm all right. You almost died. What's he doing here? I asked the Moshai to set up a meeting. I don't want us to be enemies. Is this true? Axel, Ryder rescued me from the Ket. He risked his life to... Sloan Kelly saved Kadara. Look how that went. I don't condone what happened on Kadara, but one bad experience doesn't define an entire species. Your kind has a history of treating each other unfairly, just ask the Krogan. How did you... I've been watching you. You're invaders just like the Ket, except less cautious. What does that mean? You'll know soon enough. Do not trust them, Chauvin. Axel... He didn't used to be like this. He was curious. Brilliant. But the Ket, even without exaltation, they change us. Whoever Axul was, he's dangerous now. Pathfinder, please help him. I don't think he'll let me. I can't let him go. Not yet. Ryder, we just received an emergency recording from Eos. Come to the meeting room when you get back to the Tempest. I never thought I'd be responsible for so much. Charting a future for everyone. Can't decide if I should thank you or strike you. There's no one more qualified to face the future, Moshai. Quite the diplomat. I should make you my assistant. <laughs> Despite the pressure, I don't remember when I last felt so light. You kept Meridian from the Archon. As good as your word. It's the most beautiful place I've ever seen, and I live on Aya. Any ideas on how we stop the Ket for good? The real question is, how do we define victory over them? Complete eradication? Unlikely, 
costly and morally dubious, drive them away? How? What stops them from returning? Peaceful coexistence doesn't seem to be an option. There's much we still don't know. The Ket are not a simple problem. We can't reduce them to a simple solution. When the Ket are gone, if we fix all these worlds, what do the Angara want? Depends who you ask. We're individuals. Paran will continue spreading hope and optimism. I don't know what Ephra will do without an enemy to fight. Retirement won't suit him. As for me, maybe I'll just fade away. That's what people do when they're no longer needed, right? <laughs> My translator doesn't know what to do with your title, Moshai. Because it isn't a title. It's a reference. People from mythological times before the Scourge. Legends say we once had many Moshai. Master inventors of unfailing wisdom, guided by boundless compassion. That's a lot to live up to. It's nonsense. Don't remember who first called me Moshai, but I do recall telling them to shut up. To my regret, the name stuck. I've minded less lately. Being the Moshai has its uses. I'd like to know more about you. What about me intrigues you? You're an expert on several topics. Remnant, Ket, stuff I don't even know exists. All true. Why? Do you want to be my student? Is that an option? Because I didn't train for this job. At all. Yet you do it well. There are two kinds of knowing. What we take in from the universe, and what's already inside us. You have the essentials figured out. The rest you can learn as you go. What are you working on these days? I thought being a kept prisoner was the worst fate imaginable. Then I got home and saw my backlog. A Vela comes in every so often asking if I have a second. At this rate, I'll never catch up. To answer your question, I'm busy with everything and nothing. We'll see which wins. Are you originally from Aya or someplace else? I was born on a research vessel in deep space. My parents were explorers. They never stayed in one place long. My own work has taken me to every world many times over. They all try to claim me as their own, but if I'm honest, my favorite chair is here. You and my crewmate have a close relationship. Any advice? Hints? He talks in his sleep. Uh... Worth it for the look on your face. Jal is a dear and hopeless former student. He has a good spirit. You're lucky to have him, that's all. Thank you, Moshai. Ishare. I can't work under these conditions. What does it take to be left alone? Ambassador Riala sent me to check on you. You reported that someone in the Resistance threatened you. Tell me exactly what happened. I didn't know Riala was sending the Pathfinder. I deserve no less, of course. I was measuring the photonic dispersal from the canopies when some random brute interrupted me. I asked him to move, and he got nasty. Said it was my fault his friend was dead. Ridiculous. Do you know what he meant by that? He ranted nonsense about a vessel and selling slots to outsiders. He got right up in my face and compared me to a cat. He wanted to kill me. I could see it in his eyes. The whole conversation made no sense. I think he was inebriated. Sounds like there's more to this. Don't suppose you caught his name? Didn't ask, didn't want it, didn't need it. When he left, I tagged him with infrared dye from my sample kit. 
Invisible to the naked eye, but not to a scanner. I'll scan people around the Resistance headquarters. See if I find him. You're supposed to represent our interests, Anaya. Go, represent. I have work to do. I've told you everything. My work is time sensitive. Stop wasting it. I've told you everything. My work is time sensitive. Stop wasting it. You have questions? Be quick. Thanks for your time. Yes, yes. Go. The Moshai said we should speak. You remember the Ket's arrival. One of them came to our city on a Val to offer lavish gifts. <laughs> we lined up along the street to watch the alien walk with our ambassador. As it passed, it stopped and knelt in front of me. I still dream of what it said. Young one, you are meant for greatness. The cat lured your people into a false friendship. It worked. A month later, our council disappeared. Our city was thrown into chaos. And when the cat came again, it was to conquer us at our weakest. Their cunning. They know what you desire, and they offer it. Be careful. The Archon is gone, but the war didn't die with him. The Cat is still out there. What do you need? I'll let you get back to it. Good. Sam, what's this? The decontamination console for visitors to the med center. Touch the start pad to use it.
How can I help? I'll get moving. Be sure. I could use your insight to get psychology. I'm no expert, but I'll try. When our operations attract too much attention, we withdraw a team into space and make sure the enemy can follow. We want them to chase us, divide their forces. They've always taken the bite. Lately, they just watch us go. Not even a token pursuit. I can't understand why. They're turning the tables, encouraging you to chase them. And then we'll find a way to hit them where they won't expect it. It's good to talk things through with an alm. Someone who understands. Thank you. humanity eight years to get a Citadel embassy back home. Pretty impressive to get one here so fast. All it took was handling some remnant. It'll take more to keep this partnership going. Ambassador Riala will handle the embassy. Let's us focus on everything else. Still amazes me that those are down with the Angara and maybe everything on Aya. Why? Or did they care about the can we? Lots more of our people around lately. Hey, you. Inventory's there. Go on and look. I detect the infrared dye Sorvis Len used to mock the person who threatened him. That's our man. I know why you're here. The botanist. You want an apology for what I said to him. You wrongly accused him of getting someone killed, threatened him for no good reason. Threat? That's not what happened. What did? Aya isn't big enough to give everyone a home. We each live here a short time and then move on. For someone to come, another must go. The exchanges are chosen at random. We call this arrangement the Vassal. Time of change. It worked well, until now. The Vassal never accounted for outsiders living on Aya. There's only so much room. When our leaders agreed to make a place for your people here, it came with a cost. My friend won a place on Aya, but he sold that slot so one of you could stay here instead. Sold it how? What did he get? Comforts for his family, resources to improve their home on Haval. He always put others before himself. That's how he died, fighting Ket on Vold. When I found out I was angry, said things to your botanist I shouldn't have, but I'd never hurt your people. He thinks you want him dead. Tell him what you just told me, and let's move on. Thought I was clear the first time. Maybe his translator malfunctioned. I'll talk to our ambassador, see if we can minimize our impact on your vassal. We don't expect things to be easy. Only that you understand, nothing is free for us. Thank you for listening.
Pathfinder. Any news on what happened to Sorvis Len? Do you know about the Vassal? The Angaran lottery that decides who gets to live on Aya? I've heard of it. Why? Angar are selling their slots to come here, so our people can stay in their place. Including a member of the Angaran resistance. He was killed on Vold. Wouldn't have happened if he'd been here. No one told me of this arrangement. Well, we have to do something. If we reward the Angara for their sacrifice, maybe they won't resent our being here. And we can ensure their survivors receive compensation in situations like this. Thank you, Pathfinder. I'll forward your proposal to Director Tan immediately. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. Let me check just in case. Paran would be happier sending one box than nothing. Hello. Hello, Pathfinder. How can I help? That's all for now. Stars and skies protect you. Ambassador Riala said you're thinking of moving to the Nexus. I find that. I'm honored even to be considered for the transfer, but I won't be happy as just an observer. I want, need to work. I engineer power systems. Will I be allowed employment alongside your people? If you put in a request, someone will get back to you. And if they refuse? <sighs> I'll have to think about it. Thank you, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, more of your outposts need help, if you have time. Vol's power grid is lagging without proper solar input. A solar amplifier would give them a boost. 
The solar technicians here may have the required parts. I'll see what I can find. You work on the solar panels? Do you have an amplifier for solar energy? Nothing as big as these, but I have a smaller one on hand. Do you need it? Here, I found the solar amplifier for Vold. They'll be happy to see this. No more power outages. Thank you, Pathfinder. <laughs> 